Hello family. This is your mom and grandma, Jackie, and I am showing you some pictures now that are some of the oldest that I have. These are all of my mom's family. In this picture is my grandpa and my grandma. My grandfather's name was Jesse Newell Ward. And the story about his family name is that in the family, the men were always named alternating in generations. The first son was named Jesse Newell Ward, and the next one was Benjamin John Ward in the next generation, and then Jesse Newell Ward, and then Benjamin John Ward. And I'll show you some more pictures related to that because it's an interesting thing. And my grandmother, Ethel May Cade Ward. Her mother was named Catherine, and she's the one that my mom was named after. And my grandmother's mom, my great-grandmother, Kitty Cade, was also named Kitty. That was her nickname. And here's a picture, very old also, in the 40s. And in this picture, you have, from left to right, my great-grandfather, Benjamin John Ward, my mother, my great-grandmother, whose name was Annie Mariah Broadley Ward. She came from England, and it was Mariah, even though it looks like it's spelled Maria. This is taken in my grandparents' backyard. And the person on the right is my mom's only sibling, my uncle. His name is Bernard Jesse Ward. And remember I told you that the generations in the Ward family were always Jesse Newell Ward and then the firstborn son, Benjamin John Ward. Well, my grandmother did not think that was a good idea. So when my uncle was born, who was the first son, Instead of being named Benjamin John Ward, which is what he would have been named, he was named Bernard Jesse Ward. <laughs> My grandmother did have her own way of doing things. Anyway, I love this picture of my mom holding on to her grandfather's arm and my great grandma and my uncle. My uncle was always called Bud and he and my mom were very close. My sister and I called him Yubi for Uncle Bud. Here is another picture. This is the one of my mom with her brother Bud. He was in World War II in the Aleutian Islands as part of his military career. And that's taken when he was home on leave. And here is a picture of my mom, which I love. She was so beautiful. Look at her. You'll recognize her though. I mean, she looked the same for years. This is also in the backyard of my grandparents' home in Waterloo. And this is a picture of my Uncle Bud with his mom, my grandma. And a picture. You recognize some of these people. My mother had been in an accident and broke her elbow. She was hurt really quite badly. From left to right, we have my uncle and his girlfriend, whose name I do not know, my mom and my dad. Aren't they cute? And this is my mom, another picture of her standing in front of the house. Looks like there's snow on the ground, but she didn't even have a coat on, my goodness. Anyway, my mom, your grandma. And this is my dad's graduation picture from Hobart. I think some of you, you, the boys, you may have this one because I think I had copies made for you. So anyway, these are pictures from the 40s. This one is 1950, the one of my dad. I wanted you to get to see these people who are your ancestors because they're very important. And the one, this picture, the one I showed you first has my grandpa and he was my very best friend. He's the one who gave me my teddy bear. So I hope you enjoy these and I'll get these posted when I can.